Hi class, today we're doing page 37, 38, and Philippians 4, 13 tells us, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. And we're going to start at class practice 1A. This is the same things we've been doing the last two lessons of converting measurements uh, the only thing different now is we'll be doing some adding in there and subtracting where before we were just changing the measurements. Before we were just changing something maybe like 24 feet equals how many yards. And so today now we're actually going to be doing a math problem with different measurements and it's important that we Change it so it's all the same measurement. And what I mean by that is, here we have yards, so we need to change everything into yards. Well, that's already yards. I'm just bringing it down. Equals. Three, I'm just bringing that down. It's already in yards. Plus. Now this one is not in yards, so we'll be changing that put blank, we're changing 24 feet into yards. And so the area that we've boxed, we put a 1, 2, 3 below it. And we're going feet to yards. Are we going smaller to bigger or bigger to smaller? Feet to yards is smaller to bigger. So we need to divide. And then what is our special number here? Feet and yards, our special number would be 3, because there's 3 feet in a yard. And now we're going to do our 24 divided by 3. Twenty-four divided by three is eight. So I'm going to put my 8 here. And now, 8 yards plus 3 yards, we can easily do that. That'd be 11 yards. And our answer is 11 yards. Okay, B, same thing. The answer is in inches, so we're going to change everything into inches. Bring down the equal sign. 3 feet, we're going to change that into inches. Bring down the addition sign. Oops. I'll bring down the 16 inches. Looks like it says 16 inch T. There's supposed to be a plus symbol there. Um, so we do our 1, 2, 3 below the box. We're going from feet to inches. That means we're going larger to smaller. So we do multiplication. What's the special number when you think inches and feet? You think of 12, because there's 12 inches in a foot. And now we're doing 3 times 12. And that will be 36. So we put our 36 right there. And we have 16 inches plus 36 inches. When you add that together, you get 50, 52, 52. Okay, C. Our answer is in inches, so we need to change everything into inches. It already says 5 inches, so I'm just going to bring that down. Subtract, and this 3 yards needs to be turned into inches. One, two, three. Okay, we're going from yards to inches, so we're going larger to smaller. That means we multiply. How many inches are in a yard? It's 36. 
And so we do 3 times 36. When you do 3 times 36, you're going to get 108. And now you do 108 minus 5, and that gives you 103. And that's your answer, 103 inches. Okay, D, our answer is in feet, so we need to change everything into feet. Brought down the addition symbol, and now I'm just bringing down the six feet. Below the box, let's do a one, two, three. We're going from yards to feet, so we're going bigger to smaller. That means we multiply. How many feet are in a yard? It's three. And so now we're doing three times three. That's nine. So now we're doing six feet plus nine feet. That's 15 feet. Let's go ahead and go down to the story problem below. The first one says, in one hospital this past year, 376 baby boys were born. There were 19 more baby girls born than baby boys. How many babies were born in all? So what we got to do is we got to take what they give us of, we know there's 376 boys born. And we know there's 19 more baby girls than there were boys. So we need to add that 19. Now this tells us how many girls were born. So we know that there were 376 boys born. We know that there were 395 girls born. And the question it asks us is how many babies were born in all? So we got to add up our boys and girls. So we take our 376 that's our boys, and we add our girls, 395, and when we add that together, that will tell us what the answer is. Okay, the next story problem. Chad is trying to read a book with 342 pages in one week. Well, Monday, he read 43 pages. Tuesday, he read 27 pages. Wednesday, 31 pages. And on Thursday, 56 pages. So it's asking how many pages does he have left to read in the three remaining days. And what I would do is I'd first add up how many he's read so far. Well, Monday, he read 43. Tuesday, he read 27. Wednesday, he read 31. Thursday, 56. I would add these up, and whatever you get, then subtract it from 342. And that should be your answer. So whatever you get here, you subtract it from 342, and this down here will be your answer. Okay, if you turn your paper over, we're going to look at, uh, it says, get wisdom, get understanding, forget it not, Proverbs 4, 5. 
Um, we're going to look at number six, though. It says to write these numbers correctly. And so it says 14 million. So I'm going to write 14 million, where it says million, I'm going to put a comma. 372,000, so 372,000, I'll put a comma. 651. And there's our first number. B, it says 82 million, so I'll write 82 million, comma, 485,000, so I'll write 485,000, comma, and it says 16, so I've got to write 0, 16, because there's got to be three numbers right there, so the 0 fills in that, the hundreds place. All right, C, we have 5 million, comma, 11,000, so we got to write 0, 11,000, comma, 465. And then D is 131 million, comma, 487,000, comma, and 4, so we need to write 0, 0, 4. You know what the second largest land mammal is? I'll give you a hint. It's the hippo. I only know how to say hippo. I don't know how to say... I'll try it. Hippopotamus. I always feel like I never could say it well. I could say hippo, but I couldn't say hippopotamus right. When I was your age, I was always scared that kids would make fun of me because I said it goofy. Hip. It's even larger than the rhinoceros, um, and and they can weigh as much as uh, they can weigh as much as eight thousand pounds. So that's a lot of weight. And it's a close relative to another animal. I'm going to show you. I wonder what the other animal is. It's a close relative to the pig. Does it remind you of a pig? I don't know. Kind of. The ears, maybe? And it's kind of chubby like a pig. It can open its mouth wide enough to put a four-foot tall child in its mouth. It's pretty big. And its skin has an inch and a half thick. So even bullets, a lot of bullets won't even penetrate the skin of a hippo. And its stomach is 10 feet long, capable of holding like six bushels of grass. I wonder who would win in a fight, a hippo or a crocodile? You guys know that a crocodile, it's a, it's a cannibal cannibal is something that will eat its own kind. So crocodiles will eat other crocodiles. Like a cannibal human is somebody who would eat another human. Uh, and so crocodiles are known to be cannibal. And they don't chew their food, but they swallow it whole. And it carries, inside the crocodile, it will carry like several pounds of stones uh, to help it like digest and grind up what it eats. People people talk about crocodile tears. There's a saying, crocodile tears. Because crocodiles, they don't cry tears. They're crocodile tears. Not not real tears, but um, they're just kind of like these, uh, something that comes out of its eyes. And it's supposed to uh, stop excess salt from the eyes. Um, and it continually, remember we learned about like rodents, their teeth keeps growing that's crocodiles. It keeps growing new sets of teeth. I, I would highly advise that you don't put your hand right there. 
Now it can't move its tongue, it just it sits, it's rooted in the bottom of the mouth. And it's surprisingly fast on land. So if you're ever being chased by a crocodile, if a crocodile is chasing after you, this is what you need to do. You need to run in a zigzag motion. So pretend like, here, Mr. Fit will try to draw a crocodile. Pretend like you got a crocodile here. That's a bad drawing of a crocodile. But if you ever are being chased, I'll put some little things on them. If you're ever being chased by a crocodile, you need to remember that you need to run in a zigzag motion. It's really fast. It could catch up to you. But if you run in a zigzag motion, so like you run this way, and then 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 this way. Because the crocodile doesn't have the ability to suddenly change directions. So if you can get to here without it getting you, and then quickly go this way, the crocodile will probably go here, and then it can't turn that way quick enough. And you might be able to get away and be free from that part. Yikes. Okay, go ahead and finish the rest on your own. You guys are so smart. I know you can do it. Here's me doing a piggyback ride on the crocodile. There's me doing a piggyback ride on the pig. There's me. Nope, I'm not there anymore. He ate me. He's happy. Here's a smiley face. <laughs>